He is a senior fellow at the Cato Institute in Washington, D.C. During his tenure as culture editor of the Danish newspaper Giants Posten, Rose was principally responsible for the September 2005 publication of the cartoons that initiated the Mohammed cartoons controversy in early 2006. Since then, he has been an international advocate for the freedom of speech and is also the author of several books, including The Tyranny of Silence. Rose is in South Africa upon invitation from the Institute of Race Relations. And uh, he joins us from our Seapoint studio in Cape Town. We've also got uh, Gwen uh, Nguenya, the COO of the Institute of Race Relations, and of course, Fleming Rose himself. So lovely to have both of you. Thank you so very much for being with us here on Morning Live. Nice Thanks. to be here. Um, Fleming, let me, let me begin with you. A, a, a hearty warm mm -hmm. welcome to South Africa. And uh, again, thanks Thank so you. much uh, for being with us here on the program. It's, it's 11 years since those cartoons were published, and uh, I think we all remember them so well. Have you engaged the Muslim community in any way about why you commissioned those cartoons of Prophet Muhammad, who uh, I suppose may, may not be visually represented in Islam? Sure. Uh, yes, uh, I have been debating and talking to Muslims in uh, Denmark and uh, uh, around the world. Uh, in fact, right now I'm in a dialogue with uh, a Norwegian Muslim who is social conservative, who wrote a very good book called Is it possible to love the Quran and Norway at the same time? And I think that is in fact the key question for a lot of Muslims in Europe, that there is no uh, contradiction between their religious identity and being a citizen in a liberal uh, democracy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 let me bring you in, Gwen. Um, wh why bring Flem Fleming Rose to South Africa? What did you feel um, that South Africans could learn? Well, of course, as you may know, he was initially invited to talk at the University of Cape Town last year to address its, t its annual TV Davy Memorial Lecture, after which he was then disinvited by the University um, Executive Committee on, on three rather spurious grounds, um, among them including that he would provoke conflict on campus, that there would be security risks, and that instead of advancing academic freedom, his presence on campus may in fact retard academic freedom. Um, we, we strongly oppose these three, um, these three reasons including the university's academic freedom committee itself and we thought it was important to to set a precedent in south africa that we can invite speakers who may be controversial but that south africans are capable to to attend and to engage in open dialogue on on what could be contentious issues yeah uh, if we if we have to ask you the question uh, now fleming in terms of your feelings about muslims what what are they um is it, uh, it i suppose that's the question what are your feelings towards them I mean, I feel that uh, Muslims, they are citizens in our societies as everybody else. And commissioning and publishing those cartoons, I was basically communicating to the Muslim community in Denmark, you do not have to expect, we, don't, we are not expecting more of you, we are not expecting less of you, but we are expecting of you exactly the same as we do of every other individual and group in our society. And in, li in that lies a fact of recognition that you are part of society. So I'm in favor of equality and freedom for every Muslim community and of, for every individual in our society. And that, in fact, had put me at odds um, against some anti-Muslim politicians in Europe. If you take Get Wilders, the Dutch uh, populist anti-Muslim politician, I had a debate with him in 2015, and it turned out that we disagree on fundamental issues. He wants to ban the Quran. I don't want to do that. He's against faith-based schools. He wants to close mosques. I'm against that. So basically, he is against equality and freedom for Muslims in our sciences, and I'm strongly in favor of that. Yeah. Don't you think, however, that there's a fine line between freedom of speech and provoking groups with something that they perhaps see as blasphemous? I mean, it has to do with uh, a lot of things. I think people should have a right uh, to speak their mind as long as they do not incite violence. And it means that we don't have a right uh, not to be uh, offended. It doesn't mean that you, should just, you, you, you have to say everything but when people belong to different faiths, when, when they do have different values and strongly believe in those values, you will have clashes in a diverse society.
Yeah. And that is inevitable. And I think it's better to have these uh, disagreements, uh, these clashes out in the open instead of trying to oppress them. And then at some point you will have an explosion. And some people feel that that's exactly where we are as South Africa, um, is expressing views, getting them out there. But, but Gwen, let me ask you, don't, don't you think that we're bringing such a, a controversial figure will foster more divisions, um, even if it is on the basis of freedom of speech and expression? Um, will this not be directly provoking the Muslim community? Well, not at all. In fact, um, Mr. Rose, while he's here, has uh, granted a number of interviews and some by which um, callers were able to call into radio stations and engage with them. And I think the discussions have been quite fruitful. At the end of the day, being a think tank, we do believe in the power of ideas and the way that you engage in, in the battle of ideas or even in, in debates is to be able to um, t to talk to, to, to people and to the only way to reach people is in an open conversation and there is then always the possibility to persuade but if we don't engage people that we disagree with then we can never challenge their positions and there's never a possibility to perhaps bring them onto our side. Just um, as we wrap up this conversation, um, you, you presented in Johannesburg. You also presented um, in, uh, in, in Cape Town. Oh, no, you're going to be in Cape Town. I beg your pardon. You did it in Johannesburg. Yes, tonight. What? Tonight. So the, the lecture in Cape Town is happening tonight. But in Johannesburg, um, Fleming, how was, it, how was it accepted? And what did people feel at the end of it? And perhaps, Gwen, you can add into this. Yeah, I think I, I think I have to ask your audience, but I think uh, my lecture went well. Uh, there were a lot of interesting questions. And in fact, on national radio, I engaged in a debate with a local Muslim leader. Yesterday, I spoke to a radio station here in Cape Town that has a lot of uh, Muslim listeners. And we had a very civilized uh, exchange. And I think that is the way we have to move forward. Uh, we should not talk so much about one another, but uh, to one another and with one another. And that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah, the only thing I would add is, um, is that the conversation in Johannesburg wasn't necessarily entirely agreeable. There were members of the audience who, who challenged Mr. Rose on questions that he raised during his talk. And there was, you know, back and forth the debate. Um, and I think that's, that's quite useful, that we weren't just speaking to perhaps an audience that was already converted to the views that Fleming Rose might hold, but that people came with, um, you know, critical questions and those were able to, to be dealt with on, on the Evening. And we hope the case will be the same here in Cape Town. Fantastic. So, Gwen, tonight it's happening. Where? Details? Can people just attend? Do you have to book? It's at the... They can still RSVP. Okay. Um, but also, we, if they arrive at the door with their identity documents, we do have to have a certain level of security check. But if they haven't RSVP'd and they arrive with some form of identification at the River Club in Observatory tonight at half past five, then they will be allowed in. And we hope they, they do arrive to, to engage with, with Fleming. Thank you so much for being our guest here on the program. Fleming Rose was responsible for the publication of the controversial Prophet Muhammad cartoons in Denmark and also the Institute of Race Relations' as COO, uh, Gwen and Gwenya. They're inviting Rose to deliver um, its only lecture with the theme, Free Speech in a Globalized World. Let's take a break. We'll see you after this.